hey everybody thank you so much for watching this video this is our last video in our series titled exploring skilled trades so let's get hyped up and let's finish strong i really wanted to talk about light bulbs because i feel like we are so surrounded by lights but a lot of times personally and i'm personally speaking here i don't know the difference between them and i don't know how to purchase them so i hope this video is in, is informative to you uh, this is day five of a five-day series on exploring skilled trades. And if you're interested in learning about electrical, plumbing, HVAC, or how garages work, please take a look at some of my other videos. Pretty awesome stuff. And I've learned so much through this process myself. There's actually a free note taker if you're watching this video in the months of December 2021 or January 2022. If you take a look at the, at the description below, I can send you a free note taker. And if you complete that and send it back to me, I'm going to go ahead and create for you a free certificate of completion for you to put on your professional resume. So you can talk about how you've learned uh, over your break. All right. In this video, we're going to talk about a few things. Let's first talk about an overview of different light bulbs. If you're taking notes here, really, really um, interesting here. And look at the dates as well. When you look at an incandescent light bulb, this is really the original light bulb. 1878, over a hundred and something years ago, the incand an incandescent lamp generates light when electric current heats a tungsten filament. So you're using some chemistry here too, tungsten filament wire so that it glows and it really burns. And that's really what an incandescent light is. Okay, so the filament is enclosed in a glass bulb with a vacuum or a gas to protect it from oxidation. All right, so that's what an incandescent light bulb is. In 1955, so years later, the halogen came. And it's really a type of incandescent lamp that uses a halogen gas now in order to produce, uh, um, in order to increase light output and rated life. They're known for increasing efficiency, the quality of light, and, and really um, 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 cheaper. Right, so you've got that as well. All right, so you've got your halogens in 1955. Here's the history too. Next, 1976 to 1985, in that range, came the CFLs. If you've ever seen CFLs, don't be afraid of that acronym there. It stands for compact fluorescent light. And a compact fluorescent light, also known as compact fluorescent light or energy saving light or anything like that, is a fluorescent lamp that is designed to replace the incandescent light bulbs. It usually looks like this. There's other types as well, but this is the most common one here. And the lamp here uh, is folded or curved to fit the space of an incandescent light bulb. So it's like the same kind of surface area there as well, like the same size. CFLs use one fifth to one third of the electric power of an incandescent bulb. And it lasts way long, eight to 15 times longer. Obviously there's a higher purchase price, but the the downfall of fluorescent or or the negative to it is that CFLs contain toxic mercury, so you can't just throw them away in your trash can. Um, in many countries, governments have banned that, and you actually have to recycle them a certain way. All right, so keep that in mind when you look at CFLs. And finally, these are probably ones that you and me probably use more of, or we've heard more of LEDs. LEDs look in um, so many different ways. And they usually, um, and they came out in the range of 2002 to 2008. There's newer ones now that are more efficient and stuff like that. LED stands for light emitting diode, diode. Okay. LED lighting products produce light up to 90% more efficiently than incandescent light bulbs. And the electric current passes through a microchip, really interesting stuff, which illuminates these tiny light sources, which we call LEDs. There's many different types. If you look at any new kitchen, usually like you'll see these, um, um, lights that are flat uh, to the drywall on the ceiling because they look nice as well. These are LEDs. And here's what it looks like if you ever replace them, All right? You, it's pretty much plug and play. Uh, we've replaced ones in our house before you and you, and you pull it down and you remove it from the brackets and you unplug it and you plug in the new one and you push it back up, make sure that the hooks are correctly installed. And that's it. It's that simple, right? These are LEDs. Let's also talk about uh, the different light bulbs. If you take a look at it, I've talked about four ones, uh, four of them. You've got your incandescent halogen, CFLs, and LEDs in that order. Look at the costs. As you can see, LEDs are way cheaper, uh, but they're actually more expensive to purchase. So there's a downfall there. Some people just like the look of the incandescent. So it's not like they want to pay more. They just like the look of it. So that's a reason why. The lumens are higher, way higher now for LEDs. The percent is way more efficient, 83% more, uh, percent more uh, efficient. As you can see, the rated bulb life. I looked up what this meant. From what it is, is they've tested, let's say, a 1,000 bulbs. When 50% of the bulbs die, that is the rated 
bulb life. So 34 years. So a lot of times when you buy these LEDs, you're like, whoa, this LED can last 34 years. Chances are it can, but depending on how you use it and how often you use it and electricity and all that stuff, it can die uh, a lot um, um, sooner. So sure, they advertise, oh, this, this lamp will last 34 years. I've had LEDs in my house last a year, uh, depending on how they're used and stuff like that. Okay, so keep that in mind. But it can last up to, I guess, that rated bulb life. Instant on, yep, versus CFLs. I don't know if you've noticed CFLs. They take time to, to warm up, all right? So keep that in mind. Dimmable, yeah, most of them. Cold tolerant, yeah, contains mercury. Remember, the CFLs are going to do that. And then recyclable, uh, um, no. But CFLs are recyclable because that's how you can um, throw them away. All right, next, I want to talk about... Um, I love this graphic here. Take a look. Candle, <laughs> incandescent. These are like the original ones right here. The efficiency is not as good. Lifespan is not as good versus LEDs are way more efficient and way more longer lasting. Now, what's really trendy right now are string lights. I don't know if you've seen them in backyards or anything like that. They, I got to say, they do create an ambiance about them and I really like them and we have them in our backyard as well. But I just want to get super practical. When you look at Amazon, you're like, ooh, string lights. Remember, we just learned about four different lights, incandescent CFL and LEDs. Incandescents are cheaper, right? So let's just, I just quickly took a look at these um, two different types, $25 for 48 feet versus look at LEDs, $40, but they look the same. But if you can take a little bit closer, yeah, LEDs are not the same. They look the same, but they're not. And they're longer lasting and heavy duty or et cetera. But if you look at a glance, you probably can't tell which ones are which, uh, depending on that. Okay, so just keep that in mind. If you ever shop for them, they're not all created equally. LEDs are longer lasting and they're way more heavier duty. And they're, um, 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 well, some would say better than, and oh, and hold on, uh, $39 versus 25. But remember, LEDs are um, cheaper electricity wise. All right, so we'll talk more about that right now as well. When you look at any light bulb container, there's actually something called a light label. I don't know if you knew this, kind of like a nutritional label, but now this is a light label. So if you take a look at it, it can tell you everything from brightness to the yearly energy cost, depending on rates and use. You take a look at the life, um, like the life expectancy. Then you look at something called a light appearance, which is um, how many a thousand um, 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 it is. Uh, then you've got your energy used and you've got your lumens and estimated energy costs. Okay. So that's how you kind of read it. I love this graphic. Let's take a moment here to take a look at it. Once again, brightness is measured in lumens, not wattage. So that's how bright it is. Life expectancy, we talked about it. I'm going to talk a little bit more about light, light appearance first. Okay. Now, when it comes to light appearance, uh, I'm, I'm just going to read this right here. Indicates the hue of the color emitted, warm, soft, Colors are around 3,000, and then uh, brighter ones are a little bit higher, okay? So when you look at that, I want to show you this. As you can see, the lower this number is, the, the kind of more yellow it is, okay? Versus the higher the number is, it's more light, cool white, okay? So if, you want, if you're interested in that, picking the right one, you want to definitely look at the light appearance, and it's going to show you the scale of that warm versus cool. The next thing I want to talk about is uh, wattages, okay? So all light bulbs have a wattage rating. Now, why is that important? Because the higher the wattage, the greater amount of electricity is used. Thus, the more money is going to cost. So more wattage, more electricity used, more money that it's going to cost. And you can find that wattage, and it's going to be right there down here. So when purchasing a light, you definitely want to take a look at that because that's something that's definitely going to play a factor when it comes to uh, your expenses, okay? All right, and that's pretty much it. If this has been helpful, thank you so much for watching these five days videos. I personally enjoyed um, creating them and learning myself about these different concepts. But hey, I just want to give you kudos for really investing in your education and really learning these important life skills that school doesn't teach us, unfortunately. So thank you so much for watching this. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. And I hope you can stay tuned in, um, um, on our channel. There's a lot more exciting um, uh, life lessons coming your way. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.